Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2021 SEMA show and I came across a very cool 1965 GMC pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turn on and take a quick look at it. Randy, how are you, brother? I'm great, and you, buddy? Oh, well, we're back at SEMA. I'm always glad to be here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Finally. I, yeah, I'm telling you, I think it's gonna be a good year. Of course, it's Vegas, so the weather's gonna be great. And yeah. it's Vegas, so, yep. right? Yep. <laughs> I don't know how we can go wrong with that. Correct, correct. So how you been? You been good? Yep. Good. Been good, brother. Tell me a little bit about this truck here. So what we started with was a 1965 GMC. It was a long bed, little back window truck, uh, just an old farm truck. And uh, this customer, he sent it to me. He's out of Scottsdale, Arizona. And he says, I want you to build me a really killer truck. And so he kind of gave me the free reign uh, to do whatever I wanted. And so I did a bunch of crazy metal work. As you can see, the grill, I cut it up, moved the bar down to center uh, to make it more symmetrical. All the cool metal work on the bottom. Um, as fender you know the fender uh, treatments in the front and rear treatments as well the hood's been restyled i flush fit all the glass i played with the rooftop a little bit uh, you can hardly tell but it's about half an inch um, but just a really really cool fun truck to build and uh you had to make this thing different because there's a lot of c10s out there right? right on yeah so i said i stepped up and i said let's make something really killer and wild for this this gentleman and, and i think we did that so what's the effort in taking a long bed and turning it into a short bed? And is it the same as a short bed, or did you make some modifications to we, that? So we had, you know, I bought all new bed sides and did all that, but uh, it's sitting on a chopping block chassis. It's on air, obviously. Um, so, yeah, it's basically just taking that and setting it up for a short bed. Right. Just and, whack the rails Oh well, you bought a chassis. Yep, so. bought a chassis, did all that. And then, you know, I really concentrate on my flush fit glass. To, to That's another really key piece in one of these these cool builds right and i just made it as tight and clean as i could and i think it, it really turned out cool to make a, a cool appearance on the truck it's all in the details brother and that's right. one that if it's not done you notice and if it is done you don't yep notice. yep you know and a lot of people leave big old gaps here and there and and you know it's well a, if you're going to do it the body line has got to follow the window yep. because it's not you don't have to be an expert in this industry correct. to see if it doesn't you correct, know correct. and you're right a lot of them the body line is wiggly as can be and yep. that just doesn't work when you're trying to do that correct correct but yeah really cool truck a lot of subtle metal work trucks really wild you have to look at it for a while to see all this you know cool metal work one piece cow i mean you just go on and on i reshaped the fender wells um but yeah the bed's really cool i did some cool bed wood in it as well um, but yeah, what did you uh, coat this grill in? So that's all brushed nickel by Ogden Chrome. Okay. Yep, they did all my brushed nickel, and we did one-off three-piece wheels, uh, wheelwood brakes. What size are the wheels? Uh, they're 20s and 18s. Cool. And what color is it? So that's a cool custom blue we came off. Uh, it's a basically off of a, a Range Rover, and then we tuned on it a little bit to make it our own, and it really, I think, complements the truck really well. No, it looks very good. What power is it? So LT4 is the power, backed by a six-speed. So it's actually fun to drive. We don't have a lot of miles on it yet, but it's uh, been fun to drive the little bit we have drove it. How long has it been done? Well, it's been done not quite a year now. Huh. So we debuted it in Scottsdale. It's a good guy's show, and, and it was a truck of the year uh, late there. Um, but it's done great. It's been to Hot August Nights, been to C10 Nationals, and it's done great everywhere. Is it going it. to Barrett Jackson for sale? No, this is a customer's truck. Yep, so he'll take it home and after we're done with it, and have his fun with it. Yeah, had he always wanted a truck like this? He has, he has. He's been a big truck guy, um, and he's actually from Italy. So, in it, you know, back there they don't have a lot of trucks. Right. And so when he came to the states, he's he, you know, he was a truck guy. Right. And then uh, we went from there, and I think we built him a pretty cool truck. No, he should be proud of yeah, it. Yeah, I think he'll be happy, happy, happy. What about the interior? Interior's all hides leather, uh, Dakota digital gauges. All one-off stuff, a lot of one-off billet stuff in there. The dash has all been reshaped. Um, just a lot of cool stuff. The gauge panel's all custom one-off. Uh, you know, power windows and resto mod airs in it. Uh, so this thing's actually, you know, it should be a cool cruiser for him. Right on. And you notoriously, everything you build, you drive. Yep. I we, mean, I don't even say that it's built to drive. Understand that you drive. Yep, we, <laughs> right. got, we got to build them to drive. Yeah, right. It's not a question. Correct, yeah. correct. And, you know, Scottsdale, Arizona, I think this is a perfect... Uh, home for this that's truck. where it's going to live too. Yep, that's, oh, it's, yeah, that's, yeah, it's, yeah. that's where it's going to reside so i think that's a perfect home for a lot of things correct correct yeah. but yeah real cool truck and a lot of cool parts and pieces on this truck that you just have to go through and look at them and and look at the truck and, and pick everything out and it's it's a fun fun piece to look at it's a good thing i shoot video brother <laughs> i do my best to show them all, all right buddy. randy i appreciate it thank, thank you brother take care bye 
So there you go from the 2021 SEMA show, a 1965 GMC pickup truck from Weaver's Customs. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.